guys, look at this. This is kind of the Beaker's Lab trifecta right now. Bunnies, extreme weather events, and oh my goodness, why did we agree to max this thing? This is terrible. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker's Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. Hey, I'm your host, Beaker. Look at those cool bunnies over there. Hey guys, that's Mally and Paya. And if you've been watching over what, the past four or five episodes or whatever, we've been talking about one goal. It's a simple goal. It's a stupid goal, but it's not going to be easy. Paya, you good? Bro, that scares me every time she does that. Okay, she's good. She's good. While we wait for the flood waters to rise, I mean, don't worry. It's just a flood watch. If it says flood warning, it didn't say warning, did it? Mm, no, flood watch. We have agreed to do this because we don't want to give Supercell 50 bucks for this builder. I think it's going to be fun if we can look at that builder and say, yeah, that's a $50 builder, but we didn't spend 50 bucks on it. We farmed it to max, even if we're giving up a ton of magical items and possibly things I value even more than magical items. And at the end, this is going to be worth it, I think. Because the final 10, Day Soul Max resumes in three, two, one. Okay, so what does it say if I click on this? It's just gonna say, it doesn't say, this is it guys. This is, this is the story of our life right now. Okay, let's make this real simple guys. I gotta keep this note out here because right now, all we need to farm is town halls, spell towers, and monoliths because each of those are connected to huge achievements that will give us thousands of gems, I think. Well, we'll see. It doesn't matter. We need to get some of these. We need to at least get one or two of these. And so in this case, I'm sitting here looking at a monolith and I'm looking at the town hall. Should we just rush this and go? Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Somebody help. Okay. Get it. Get it. So we can go, 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 go. You know, guys, I wish I hadn't written that down. I mean, it's cool. I love having this here. Like, I love having a live thing that's telling us how many we have, but this is hideous. A thousand monoliths is a thousand attacks. Well, more. Like, if you miss it once, then you got to do it again. Is there a free monolith in this base? But town halls are still towards the edge of the base for a lot of people, right? Um, the monolith is very rarely a freebie. People don't really put their spell towers outside either, but the town hall, you can find that thing. There we go. We just got one. 337. We're making progress. I just said there is no free monoliths and no free spell towers, and that's exactly what I find. This is like changing the way I look at the game because normally I wouldn't even be looking for this. Wow. Okay. Okay, that's everything, right? Hey. Okay, what do we got? Can I put the desk up more? Oh, oh now that's in the way. This monitor. Yo, it'd be so sick if we could have this on a on a live screen back there, like a TV screen or a monitor or something. Or like one of those stock tickers. Have you ever seen people they have them on their desk or whatever? They have like the price of Bitcoin or like the, you know, the price of Tesla or whatever on it. That'd be so sick for these. So every time we take down a town hall, it would automatically like go down one. Every time we take down two spell towers. So cool. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. I think we just got a monolith and a spell tower. You know what? I don't even know what I'm looking for. Like, why am I not just attacking every base I find? Okay, let's see if we can get those builders. Yeah, I got a couple of them. All right. Yo, this is so fun. Like, look, it's it's so cool that this is just basically a healer hero walk, but then they're all going to start turning into the bears, which then becomes a totally different thing. It's like more like giants and healers and heroes. I, I love it. It's this two stage weirdo army. All right, man, you guys good? Okay, let's get a couple more of the bears in there. We don't, we haven't even dropped any spells, so let's get one of those. Perfect, 
Perfect. Hey, that's the final thing we need on this base, guys. The final spell tower. Perfect. Oh, I've never seen one of them hit a spring trap. That looks so weird. They were like, they were like planking out like this through the air. Very cool. Very cool. Guys, let's go throw down another level on this new apprentice builder. This is gonna hurt. Welcome to the main event. All right, guys, welcome to the main event. A show within a show where we do something stupid. I'm your host, Beaker. Melly and Paya right over there chilling as always. So let me get a count here. <sighs> yeah, good job. Beak. Oh, I just spilled too much water. Okay, so guys, I don't want to do this with all of our raid medals, but I am going to do it with quite a few. If we have the opportunity to buy potions like this and then sell them for gems, we're going to do it. It's not going to be a big return, but it is going to be some. Right there, we're going to sell those three training potions. We'll get 30 gems. Dunk! Okay, we're over here on the Builder Base. I just used the freebie boost. Guys, for the final four days, I'm going to do a poll about this. We could boost. We have a bunch of these booster potions. I'm never going to use them. We bought a couple packs, like, I don't know, uh, last Christmas or whatever it was, and they had a bunch of these booster potions for the clock tower. I am never going to use them in a serious way, but this would be kind of fun. Say for the final four days or final three days, we use them all. It would get us some extra gems. It wouldn't be a ton, but it would be maybe a hundred extra, maybe two. I don't know. I'll do the math on it. We'll, we'll start thinking about it, but guys, let's get this. Six, 285. I like it. Okay, six from the gem mine. Let's collect these. Come on, dude. There's only one tree over here. Okay, guys, we cannot do this every day. We cannot make a habit out of this, but I think we're going to get some resource potions with these and kind of convert them into gems. This is going to hurt so much. This is not like, please don't do this. I should be getting those things right there, but I do want to get this thing, Max, and know that we did not pay money for it. We didn't buy gems for it. So, okay, one, two, three. Three, that means we can sell five of those resource potions and we'll get three of these. One, two, three. That's a hundred gems right there we're gonna get. Perfect. Okay, let's do it one more time. Oh, this hurts. Oh, this hurts. <laughs> let's sell these 12 potions right here, right? Uh, the research builder. Yeah. All right, guys, check it out. We're over 500, just barely. And that means one more thing and we're there. Gang, I am seriously considering saving this for the beginning of the next episode just to get a bit of a sugar rush. I mean, it's not sugar, but you know what I mean? When you when you walk into one of these episodes and you have no gems, it is depressing. All right, heads, we do it now. Tails, we do it at the beginning of nine days till max. Heads or tails? Heads. You got it. Anyway, guys, we'll see you next time for nine days till max, or I should say nine days to get several thousand gems. No big deal, right? I'm just gonna keep looking around on the ground, you know, see if I find 100 gems here, 200 gems. You know how people drop quarters sometimes? It's like that with gems. But we'll see you guys next time right here for nine days till max.